Good morning, you lovely lot. Right, another day, another park up. Currently got the bacon cooking. A little bit already done there, a bit more already in. Ready for a bacon roll to start the day. Got a busy day ahead today. Um, but before we do that, before we crack on with the day and the bacon roll, let's show you the park up, shall we? I'm in a little place called Godalmin. Over there is Godalmin Rugby Club. Uh, it's basically Guildford area. My hair is a mess, I need a haircut. And I am with Pete. I met up with Jimmy uh, and Pete because I was down this end for dropping Tash off. Um, and Pete come up to Jimmy's and uh, yeah, we had a couple of days together. Gone through a few bits with Pete on the motorhome. But this is where we parked up. There's a beautiful lake which Jimmy fishes and we're gonna be fishing in this lake in the summer at some point. So there's a beautiful lake over there. We did start down that road, but it is a little bit tight. And once it cleared out last night, I mean, it's, it's Monday morning now, so yes, obviously Sunday. Once it cleared out Sunday evening, we made our way down here. Obviously you've got them a quite a busy main road there, but we're quite nice and tight. So the trees will be, uh, you know, we'll be, we'll be on our way in the next hour and a half. So um, this place can fill up and there is a little coffee shop here yesterday afternoon when we pulled up here They were still open and because the clocks have changed they're now open till five um, And we had a nice cup of tea and a bit of cake, which was great um, Cheers for that Pete uh, No problems last night cut the cars pulled up you might hear there Jenny now so Apologies for that. But yeah, uh, cut the cars pulled up um, No real bother. She's a big old girl, but she got in no problem Bacon rolls are done. Pete's enjoying one. There we go. Bacon there, piled up. Help yourself style. Love it. All ready for a busy day ahead. Bacon sandwich is done. Pete's heading off to... He's back in his motorhome. He's heading back to Bournemouth, I think, today. Uh, he's heading around the Bournemouth area. I know he's going to go see some friends. Um, I'm all packed up now. Uh, everything's all away. I am now ready to go and deliver... This coat, which I got from the Radfords the other day when I was with Tash, I told you guys that it was going to be something different. And well, well, I should get there and then they should be able to explain a little bit. Not all, a little bit. But, right, let's throw, throw a bag of rubbish away and hit the road. Road, road, road. That's a tight turn. Oh, that's tight. All right, so this is a real dog leg place to get through. Uh, yeah, I, I got a bit of this hotel for a meeting. Um, it's going to be interesting, to say the least. As you can see, all the way up here, it <laughs> it's tight as anything, and then it twists and turns. It's going to be fun. Here we go. It's too close that side, isn't it? I can get closer that side, but then when I turn, this side's gonna kick. It's gonna kick and it's gonna kick that post, it's gonna kick that wall. How much is it gonna come out today then? Too much? It, too much. Fair enough. Well, have we tried? Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna get up there. It's, it's, the overhang's too much. It, it'll swing. Am I right in that corner?
Well, that didn't work, so we had to park here. Right, that is it. Done and dusted. That's my meeting, done and dusted. But I cannot disclose what the meeting was and what it was all about. Clearly, it was filming, but... You have to wait a little bit longer for that. That'll be coming out some point later in the year. Now, out to the motorhome, needs to do a little bit more. Got to turn the motorhome around for a little bit more filming and then we'll crack on with the rest of the day. So, <laughs> there was no way I was gonna get the motorhome through here. It was just uh, far too tight because of the swing of the back end of the motorhome. Sometimes, it's just not worth the risk. You need to eye up and then admit defeat before uh, any, any accidents happen. Because you don't want them. They can be costly. Let's get this turned around. Ready for some more filming. See how much I want it. See how bad I need it. You gotta look into my eyes. That's how much I want it. That's how bad I need it. You gotta look into my eyes. Filming's all done. Can't really tell you much about it right now, but it is for TV and it will be coming out some point later this year, I hope. I'm, I'm led to believe it will come out some point later this year, but yeah, all motorhome related, obviously. I could have done with a haircut because I look a bit, a bit like a bog brush, but hey, I haven't had time. Um, and we, we, you know how I roll. I roll with it. It's real. It's raw. It's, it is what it is. So, yep. That's all done. Now I'm gonna go find somewhere to do some shopping because I need to get some food and bits and bobs in. Do some shopping. Then we're gonna go find a park up, I think. Why not? I was gonna quickly do a bit of filming to the uh, camera, uh, showing the park for night app, which I'll do in a bit when I get off the 25, but when I looked at the time, because uh, time's been getting away from me today, I haven't even done shopping yet. Um, took a while to get out of Guildford with traffic and things. So, I could do shopping another day to be fair. Um, I've got enough in the cupboards, uh, which is fine. I know roughly where I'm going to stop, um, halfway around the uh, around the M25. So I was like, oh, I need to get on there and get get done quick before the traffic starts. So I thought I'll do that bit in a bit. Um, and yeah, I hit traffic, which is not the best of things. So I'm just fighting for it now. I've only got, I think, you know, 15 miles, 10 miles, and I'll be pulling off the M25. Yeah, I think I'm gonna head for, I think, around the Mill End area. Now, I had a little look, I did see a couple of uh, park cups and park for night out around that area, which seemed pretty big. Um, so, I'm gonna head there, uh, yeah, to see what it's like. I do need to eat at some point. I am getting a bit peckish, but it might get to a case where it's just so late, I might just then cook dinner a bit early. Uh, yeah. So let's crack on for his M25 and get to Mill End. Well, this is looking very busy. I'm hoping there's somewhere I can reverse in and stick my ass over the edge. Um, otherwise, I'm a bit done for. Here we go, let's have a look. One way there. I'm gonna have to reverse back here. Just be careful because there are kids around. And I hope I can overhang quite a lot of the grass. Straighten up a bit. Swing this in. This isn't the space I picked for tonight, but I'll uh, sort that out in a bit. We'll have a look at the area, see what we've got to play with, and figure it out. But. I'm parked. 
and I'm still sticking out like a bit of a sore bum, but I'm parked. So, obviously it's quite busy at the moment. I'll go look at that board over there, see what that says about parking. Yeah, we're here. So, I've found this park up on Park for Night. I've I've starred a few that I've been looking at for the last uh, couple of days around this area. Now, I am I am at this one. And I'll show you this one. Um, and how I found it. So, I'm just literally searching where I'm going to be driving around and through, and then I just click them and just have a little look at them. Now, this is a massive car park, um, which was uh, drew me to it. Very big car park there. So. That is what I liked straight straight away. It says it's a leisure centre car park, well lit, empty at night, plenty of room, no signs, leisure centre staff are fine. That's all great information there. Then we've got a couple of reviews down here. This is why I love park for night. Good spot. I'm here now, very quiet, no issues, and it's still free surprisingly. We'll stay one night and we'll use again. Now this is like it is a leisure centre, opposite a leisure centre. Um Right opposite me where I'm parked now, there's a big cage with like football nets and kids are running around playing football. And just behind me over here, there are there is a big park, so kids are playing in the park. <coughs> now it's quarter to five in the evening. Normally, if you've watched any of my videos before, you know I won't park anywhere near schools or anywhere near kids. Um, now, as this is a leisure centre um, and it's not a school, um, and it's a park again, like not a school. They're going to be gone by, you know, 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock latest, um, the kids playing. So that's that's a good thing. And it's not a school, so they're not going to be here bang early in the morning. Um, I, like I say, I still wouldn't park near a school because they're coming and going in the morning. There's herds of them, <laughs> um, they're little animals. Um, and they can be, you know, get they can bump into the van and all this and that, and they have come up with stupid ideas. We all did it, you know. Um, so, yeah, I still wouldn't park near a school, but this is pretty okay. Now, if I go back through the app, um, I did pick a few others that I was looking at. Uh, Old Mill Lane, nice little lake. And, and, and this is what I'm looking for. I'm looking, obviously, I don't want, now I'm in the bigger mile home. I need a bit of space. Um... I, I'm not too fussed if I get the most picturesque of places. Obviously, I do like them. If I can find them, then yeah, that's great. Um, Kelly Williams put in 2021, this stop is now in the low emission zone, £100 a day. That's good information, and that's what you get with the with the Park for Night reviews. you just got to literally search around where you're going to be going through. Um, I mean, as you can see on the app now, there are tons of places that you can park. But if you then click, if you're thinking mm, that might be a good one, but how big is it? I then open it with Google Maps. I'll zoom right in to wherever it is. And then I will go to Street View and have a look. Is there a height barrier? There's the entrance. And this is what you're looking for. What's the area like? It's on a bit of a road there, but it's looking pretty good, to be fair. If people haven't taken a picture recently or added a review recently, update the reviews. So take a few pictures, um, write a little review, and then, yeah, it really helps the community continue to use these spots. And, um, yeah, it helps the community grow. Need to start thinking about some dinner because I haven't had lunch. I had a packet of crisps when I parked up here, um, and that was it. I had a little roof in the freezer, and I know I've got a couple of buns left in the cupboard over there. Um, I've got a pork pork and chorizo burger. I know I've got one. Of, I know what that is, so I've got that out. Um, so I've had that with some cheese as a cheeseburger and I've got nothing really goes with it but I've got these in the freezer so some breaded Edams I think there's two in there so I'll have them and a burger as my dinner it seems to have got a little bit busier I think people must be playing football must be training it is 6.55 <laughs> it's quite busy I think this is just a guest never been here before I think it will start calming down about 8, 9 o'clock. So, no one's bothered me. 
No one's parked either side of me yet. Um, I'm overhanging the back, so I've got I am in the space quite conservatively. Um, yeah, just gonna uh, start getting dinner ready. Uh, I've got both side blinds down. Um, I'm not really, you know, the, the front's wide open. Nothing's really uh, happening or anything. Um, but yeah, gonna start um, doing a few bits. I'm gonna get a laptop out, do a few bits on there. Get some, get some TV going. Just chill out, really. I've had quite a busy day today, running around doing the filming, the top secret filming. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's been good. It's been a nice weekend as well. Seeing uh, catching up with Pete and Jimmy. Pete had a, a list of questions of how much soda's on the roof. How do I do this? How do I do that? He's uh, he's having an absolute way of a time though. He sent me a video of um, Friday night. I think it was last Friday night. He, he met up with a lot of people, and I think he had like six, eight, six to eight people in the van, you know, all sitting down on the sofa whilst he's making cups of tea and, you know, catering and, and, and you know, frying the, doing all the food and everything. Um, and he's loving it. He's absolutely loving it. It's so much more space than what he's used to. Um, yeah, he's really enjoying it. So. Right, the car park is pretty full. I started on the other side when I first came in, but now I'm here because there's no curb right there, so I've overhung, got driven onto the little curb area. Um, looks like there's a uh, football practice going on or a five-a-side or something going on over there. Um, so that's why it's busy. The leisure centre is over there. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, yeah, there's... Um, Quite a few people around. I think there's something going on in there. So it's, it's quite a busy car park to be using. But I'm um, pretty, pretty in the spot. You know, I'm definitely overhanging. Don't get me wrong. It's not, it's not that I'm not. Look, I mean, this is where I am. Yeah, that's where the end of the curb stops. Um, I'm cooking dinner right now. Um, it's just coming up to eight o'clock, so we'll see how it goes. I'll come out in another couple of hours. I'll probably pull the blinds around now. Uh, obviously, as the light has dropped, people can start seeing in. Dinner is done. That is such a small bun for that burger. It's ridiculous. But hey, we work with what we've got. But yeah, there we go. I had some mushrooms and onions, so I chucked them in. Um, there's the Edam slices and my burger. So, yeah, looks pretty good, really. And all the cheese I've got in that fridge, I haven't actually got cheese slices, so I had to cut a little bit of normal cheese and put it on. But, yeah, looks good. I'm going to uh, sit down now, whack the iPad on, have my dinner, watch something on TV. Still quite busy out there. I'll just show you there, look. Still quite busy. They're all playing football over there. So, yeah, let them crack on. We'll, I'm all good in here. No problem. It's half ten at night. Dinner went down a treat. Um, just been chilling, doing uh, a few bits and bobs. Who knew there was a, a loofah movie on uh, on Netflix? I'm halfway through that. That's banging. Let's have a little look outside, shall we? See what's going on now. It's uh, a bit later at night. There we go. Oh, there's a fox running across. Right. So I'm in my slippers. <laughs> yeah, so the cage is all shut up now. No one around. There's one car there. Um, I said it'd probably be done about nine, ten o'clock. Um, yeah, one car there. All good, really. It's nice and quiet. Can't see there being any problems. Um, should be sweet. Have a look down this side. Yeah. No one here. So it should be a pretty quiet night, really. I'm not going to be here late in the morning. I'll probably be gone by, I don't know, 10, 9, 10 o'clock. I'll get up. Um, sort a few bits out, have a bit of breakfast, and, uh, yeah, get on my wunny. But, that is tonight's park for night park up. There we go, as you can see, still parked up in the same place, all easy, nice little park up. Obviously, the car park's quite busy now, a lot of people are going to be over in the leisure centre, but yeah, nice and easy little park up.
definitely uh definitely a win for last night that was that that is the first park up video in the land yacht <laughs> um and it is still pretty urban i mean i know i'm in a car park but it's still pretty urban so if you like this video make sure you give it a thumbs up if you like this kind of content make sure you hit subscribe to the channel because there will be lots of juicy content coming um as i am on on a roll now and we're out traveling we're doing it we're doing it Make sure you click check out <laughs> Make sure you check out this video and this video and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take it easy. Bye. Three, two, one, go.